to another episode of OKKK in the kitchen with me today. Actually cooking and not just eating is Bay. I'll be cooking. <laughs> Wait, you messed up my whole rhyme. I was trying to rhyme for y'all, you know? Well, go ahead and say what you was going to say because it's your day. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> so I was told y'all before, listen, Deval loves any kind of food that's West Indian Jamaican related, okay? He's been doing this for years. Yes. And by doing this, I mean he's been eating yes. a whole lot for years. Yes. Yes. And I think you've accrued a, a nice list of your favorites. What are some of your favorite dishes that we've made over number the years? Number one, what's my number one? My number one for you? No, no my number your one. Your number one? I would say it's brown stew fish. Brown stew red snapper. I don't even know who you are. Oh no, it's not! Don't even touch me. <laughs> <laughs> no, your new diet got me all screwed up because I know you're trying to get these abs. <laughs> Zach, don't Zach is careful. trying to get these abs. So now. you've actually don't been staying, yourself. he's been staying away from his favorite. So that's why it wasn't at the top of my mind. Very clean it up. Very However, very clean it up. oxtail. Yes. Extra gravy. Yes. Pondy rice. Yes. With spinners in them. Boop. <laughs> That's number one, Boop. right? Yeah, okay, good. One. Well, the good thing is that, you know, I can relate. That's actually yes. my favorite too. Like, I'm gonna eat the oxtail. Yeah. I'll be the one sucking on the bone. Yeah, I like when you say that. Pause. I'm pause back. <laughs> play it, rewind it, play it again. Shut up. Fast rewind forward. it. I like to suck on the bones <laughs> and the gravy, all that good stuff. You know, and I'm never stingy with my oxtail gravy. I'll let y'all know that much. You got, you got the good oxtail gravy. You know? Gravy. You and then the there's, of course, gravy. brown soup snapper. That's yes, on the list, too. number two. And then number three would have to be brown stew chicken. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Absolutely. See? Absolutely. I be knowing. You would think after 10 years married, 18, almost 18 together, I should know. Ooh. So, you know what? I figured, like I was telling the good people, you're about to leave me. You're about to leave the nest yes. for a little bit to go and film. So I said, yes. I decided that you should learn how to. She decided. I decided that you should learn how to at least make one of those dishes super easy, super simple, so you have a little piece of home with you when you go. Oh, thank you so much, babe, for thinking about me. <laughs> I forgot your apron, but we're gonna get into it today because you know I'm, a, I'm. You gonna be my little sous chef? How you gonna have me in you know? chef and I don't got no apron, son? I know, I know. Yo, my bad. Wild Let me get you a. For that. I don't know. Let me get you a little like you know nah, how the guys nah, nah. they be having a towel like thrown up in there like that. There you go. Let me see. Hold on. Let me. Oh, go ahead. Let me get your towel. All right. There you go. Yeah, so that way you my, can just. My cooking towel. Yeah. That way you just wipe your I'm hands there up. and you'll be good to I go. Be like, bam, bam, bam. So like I told y'all on that last episode when I was making the fish with my brother and my sister, when we cook did in this you wash house. Your hands? Of course I did. I was gonna ask you that too. When we cook in this house, okay. We don't do like a teaspoon of this, a tablespoon of that, a cup of this. It's like, y'all gotta watch me do this and just, it's gonna be a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You tweak it to your liking, all that good stuff. Look at he's over there washing his hands for a good 20, 20 seconds. I love it, I love it. Good job, get under the nails, you good? You good, hold, hold. <laughs> let me get you a paper towel, hold it. Paper towel, there you go, there you go. Ready, ready, you excited? All right, so brown stew chicken. There's actually two ways to make it. I'm gonna show you the slightly easier way. Since well, I gotta learn the easier way. I'm not since a, you're don't a novice. Play me. I'm don't gonna, go away, wait, don't play me. You act like I don't be cooking. I'm just I know saying. how to make smothered chicken from down south now. Don't let her try to fool y'all into thinking that I don't know how to cook. I, I've yet to see that. You never seen me cook before? Mother chicken? No, you've grilled. You've, you've been on never the grill. seen me cook before. You've grilled. You can make breakfast stuff. Oh, you, but wow, disrespectful. Son. I just haven't seen this mother no, chicken. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. So there's there's the authentic way to make it, where you would fry the chicken first, you brown it, you know, on either side, then you make your gravy and everything. But I want to show you kind of like a one pot deal. You just throw it in there, you know, da 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 da, -da a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and you'd be good to go. You ready? Because right, I'm a so novice. Chef. So what we have today in the bowl. Is the this chicken. is this the chicken? I don't know what the chicken is because I'm a novice. <laughs> I don't know. I that thought this was the chicken. chicken. I thought this was the chicken. You're so 
so stupid. So we cleaned the chicken. You didn't see this, this is off camera, but I went ahead and I skinned the chicken. I cleaned it. I washed it with vinegar and lemon. My mother told that. me never so, trust a woman who don't clean her chicken. Absolutely, I believe so, her. I believe her. Yeah, so we good. Make sure y'all clean y'all chicken. All Some right. people don't clean their chicken. Some people don't. Make sure I don't. They just throw it right in the pot. There you go. That's why you can't eat from everybody. Get all sorts all right of salmonella. <laughs> all sorts of salmonella. Mm -hmm. okay. So the chicken was cleaned chicken thoroughly, clean. skinned good. All, all right. right. Going into the chicken, we have. Bell peppers, I have mm -hmm. green, I have red, I have orange. See, one thing with Jamaican cuisine, it's very colorful, you know what I mean? We have a little bit of this, you wanna see all colorful. different colors. You wanna eat colorful. in color, all right? You wanna eat in color. So, garlic. I wanna eat today, so. I gotta tell the people, I gotta entertain the people while I'm hungry. Cook. All right, good. We got garlic here that mm -hmm. I already minced up. Started the onion, and I'm gonna have you finish up for me, sous chef, while I explain the rest. You wanna kinda get in here in the grooves, okay? Mm -hmm. So that the onion is nice and minced. Mm -hmm. so that's a kind of cheap method. And then you mm -hmm. just hold it this way and you slice down. Okay. Got it? All right, yes. go ahead, don't cry now. I'm not gonna cry. Don't cry, okay. don't cry. Seriously, can, let can me I get give some you, elbow room? You can get, can some, get some elbow, elbow room? My bad, my bad, let me, yes. let me step to the side. Sunglasses though, watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. I am a pro. All right. So we have, while he's cutting that, we have green pepper, red, and orange. Like I said, we like to eat our colors. Green onion or scallion, I'm not sure if some people call it different things. We also have some thyme in our basket here today. Garlic, onion, okay, we good to go. So while you do that, Mr. Ellis, and we also have, I forgot to tell you, I'm very proud of this, a tomato from our garden. Organic, baby. The real organic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how are your onions looking over there? Do you see more onions? Uh, let me show you. Let me check let this me out. See. Let me see your I hit them with the with dice. It. I hit them with the rock. Watch the rock on it. Rock hey, on it. Hey, lean with it. Rock with it. Rock with it. Lean with it. Lean lean with it. it. Rock, rock with it. it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you fancy, huh? Oh, you fancy, huh? Hey. I need something else to do. That, that was, was easy. Good. So that did was you easy. put the glasses on for eye protection? Because I hear you over there sniffling. You you about to bust some tears out? No, it's my you allergies. You about to shed some tears? My allergies. I saw you over there. Okay. So you're going to put the onion in there. Okay. The garlic's in there too. Yeah, there's garlic in there as well. And you can put them all together because ultimately it's all going to go so it's all gonna mix. the chicken. Oh there you go. Also too, just so y'all know, too, we washed all of our peppers and all that good stuff already too. So don't be alarmed. Here, you can do that one. You can do the orange. Same thing. And then I'll do cut the it in half red. And, then, and then mince it. Yeah, so you're going to cut it in half and then you just want to kind of dice it and stuff like that. Oh, this one's a little, a little juicy there. Let me rinse that off. A little juicy. Do y'all see my husband? That is the level of extra I aspire to be at. Sunglasses on in the house with a whole ass knife in his hand. I can't make this stuff up. All right. So see, a big part of anything cuisine-wise when it comes to like West Indian cooking, Jamaican cooking, lots of seasoning, okay? And by that, we mean like fresh stuff, actual fresh peppers, onion, garlic. It's gonna make it real good. Kind of quiet over there. Be, I'm, I'm focused. I'm focused. Oh, you, you focused. That's what that you is. You gotta respect the craft. Don't I just be that. in here chit chat. I appreciate you being next to me in the kitchen though, because you know. You keep saying you're out that. You keep saying that. I say usually you're out on the grill. No, it's no shit. It's no. You shade. always throwing shade. That's why I got my shades on. All right, so I'm putting my time in there. As the dog takes his time. It's all about time, baby. The green onion. I used, usually like to kind of pound it out. What's next? I feel like that activates the flavor. You know? Because we're done with the onions. You I'm can do the though. green onion. The scallion. You should be fine with that. And then I'll do the tomato. All right. The scallion. That. So everything is being diced up right now, okay? Yes. You follow me, baby? You think you can remember how to do all of this? I got it already. Although I have a sneaky feeling that you're not going to even try to cook this while you're... Without. Yo, you 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 just be hating on me, son. No, I just feel first like you might always, be too busy. Oh, wait, yeah, it's the first time Deval's ever in the kitchen, ever in life, ever I seen him. Now it's like, I don't think you're ever going to do this. No, I'm just thinking about your time constraints. You may not have time to sit and cook a whole meal. You know? 
I'm gonna cook a meal just to send it to you, just to show you. Make sure you FaceTime me in. Mm -hmm. And you can cook it for me when I get back. While Deval's finishing up with the scallion, we have all of the bell peppers. We have tomato, we have onion, we have garlic minced, thyme as well. We have our chicken that was thoroughly washed and clean and all that good stuff, right? Yes. Okay. So while he finishes up yeah. there, because that's all going to go into this bowl, okay. the dry seasoning now, because that's going to be like the secret stuff, okay? okay? So where you want to put this? All right, so we can dump all that into the chicken right now. Get the dump. Get the dump. <laughs> all right, perfect. Nice. So we're good with that. Yes. You know, clean up our workstation so we look nice and neat. You got trash over here teach you how to clean while you work. All right now, so I typically put a little bit, just a tiny bit of oil in the chicken when I season it, because it kind of, it has, it allows everything to kind of marry together well, sure gives it a little slip. So I use grapeseed oil now. Back in the day, my parents were using like vegetable oil and stuff like that, but grapeseed is a little bit better for us. So let's do a little grapeseed. How much we gonna put Don't ask me how much, it's gonna be a little choops. Just a little choops. Right, let me hit you with the right hit hand. Hit me you with the choops. Just a little. Boop. Boop. That looks that's good. It. That was good. See Maybe how I call it one, one more. more time. Boop. Big, oh, Fine, that's right. a bow. That's good. I that's like it, that. Right. That was a good little boop. Okay. What's next? Nice. So we got the, so the we grape got seed that. oil. Next, a little apple cider vinegar. Okay. You can use regular vinegar. Apple cider vinegar I tend to have on hand a lot. That's going to be another. So let me see. Be careful with this one because you don't want it to, you know. Let me catch it right there. Catch it with the. And then boop. There you go. A little one more. Uh -huh. There you go. That's Actually, it? you can do a third boot. Ah! All right. Okay. So people who've been measuring go. that. So we hit them with the bop, bop, bop. About say three tablespoons. So we got two, two bops of the oil and uh -huh. we did three ah, 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 of the vinegar. The, okay. There you go. Okay. All right. So All right. Nice. Next, let's go for some all-purpose seasoning. All-purpose can be many different brands. Today we have the Grace All-Purpose. You know, I love Grace brand products. It's based in Jamaica. You know, so usually you can get those things in like your groceries. If you can't, um, everything Jamaica on Instagram, I know she sells those as well too. So you can go ahead and pack it in. Know. Now you want to just lay it on there. Can you lay this on just there? go, yep, yep, okay. just lay it on. So I've seen pat, this, I've seen pat. this on there. Yeah, there you go. See, see, that, see how I do that there? There you go, there you go. You want to just coat it, because this you know, all purpose is like all the flavor. All purpose usually has what? Uh, okay, okay, all right, I don't get too happy. Boom, all right, that's good? There you go, there yeah, you go. Right. Yeah, you, told me to, you told me either. to pop it. You was papping, but you might have papped a little too much. We're gonna see. Well, the you, you the one that, that's supposed to tell me when to stop. The good thing is that we have a lot of chicken in there, so we should be all right. Let me get rid of the, rest, the extra salt, so. All right, black pepper. I like to crack my pepper from early. So look, here we go. Go to ahead, and turn it. I'm just showing you how it works, just in case. There you go. So we got black pepper. So we have the all-purpose seasoning so far. We have the apple cider vinegar, black pepper. Fresh cracking that in there. Nice. Keep going. Nice. Keep going. Yeah. Don't be stingy on the black pepper. Don't be stingy. You said that about the pepper. salt, and then was in here talking about something. You put too much salt in yeah, it. Yeah, but you was getting a little elbow grease in there. We good though. You're good. Don't be nervous. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. We good. You told me I was good with the salt. <laughs> You're good. We're done. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. All right. So we have black pepper, all-purpose seasoning, a little onion powder. Go ahead. That was cute. I like, there you go. That was cute. I like that. All right. Little paprika or paprika. I don't know what y'all call it, but is the accent on the pap or the rica, whichever. It's always on the pap. Go ahead. Go. It's always on the pap. All right. I like you that. You got to watch. Tell me when. Okay. There you go. That's a new bottle, so sometimes it takes a while. So cookie. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That looks good. Okay. Nice. Okay. We got paprika, garlic powder. This one has a little parsley in it. A little parsley never hurt nobody. Now be easy on that one. That one comes out a little quick. Not when you use a finger tap. There See you that? go. See that? So all of this stuff, if you replicate this, you can do it to your tasting and to your liking. That's good? There you go. That looks about right. Okay. Okay. So we have that, 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 that. Soy sauce. Traditional soy sauce. I got this one from Trader Joe's, but you can get that anywhere. I tend to get the low sodium one because the valet already doused it with that all purpose seasoning. So it's a good thing we got the low sodium one. Go ahead. Bop. Bop, bop, bop. Some more. Go ahead. Bop, bop. You can bop this one a little bit around, honey. I see. Hey, y'all see, see this, right? Y'all see this? There you go. 
There you go. You're the one telling me to do Fabulous. Bubbles. All right. So we are just, oh, almost forgot. Important piece. So ginger. I put a little ginger in it. Typically, I'll just take a piece of ginger, peel it, and then grate it into it. Mm -hmm. However, I had some that I blended that I was making tea with already. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and pop in there. All right, so let me get a spoon. We'll pop some ginger in there. Ginger is really, really key component. So take a look at this. This I had ground it up in a blender, kind of pureed it for some tea, but we can also use another chicken as well. And I'll probably say like That's it? about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of ginger. The ginger really And how many really pieces of chicken we got in here? I want to say we about... have about eight thighs and eight legs. Okay. Eight thighs and eight legs are in there. A lot of chicken. It's a lot of chicken. Because you eat a lot of chicken. Mm -hmm. He eats a lot of chicken. Mm -hmm. There you go. And we cannot have brown stew chicken without the brownings. You have to have what in the brown stew chicken? Bronin. Bronin. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Now I'll put this in because you gotta, you gotta watch. Nah, 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 son, nah. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Let me see. You got, you got. Careful tell me. now. You, you I'm know, a, it I'm comes a... out fast, so don't get nervous. You sweat. You want to put your glasses back on? So the browning actually gives the chicken the brown color. You ready? Devel. <laughs> Don't do too much like salt, babe. The next thing you know, the chicken way too brown. Okay, there you go. Keep going. Drizzle a little bit more. There you go. See, it's all about the drizzle. That's it? A little bit more. All right, we lit. We lit. <laughs> we lit. You I gotta have, be I have tender. You gotta be tender. Now, first of all, you gotta be tender. Can you let me waft? Can you can you smell that already? I smell it, yes, man. What is the smell? How does it smell? It smell good. It's like it's like the seat, the ginger. I'm smelling the garlic. Oh, you good. you look at you. So how do we mix all I'm this so together? I'm so proud of you. All right, so you. Just go in with your hands. See, I don't like to get my hands dirty because I'll be feeling some kind of way about it. Get it in there. If you'd like, you can use your bare hands or you can always use some gloves. Don't just throw your wedding ring down like this though, folks, because that's how it ends up in the, the garbage by accident. So I'm gonna hold this for you. You're just gonna go in with your bare hands? Yeah, of course. He's gonna go in with his bare hands, folks. That way you can really marry with the chicken. You know what I mean? I'd be bougie with it. I have to put on gloves, but I went for the second real, wash. real authentic second wash. So Jamaican I just, chefs, they go in and they just, they just, you know, massage it in there, marry it in there. Oh, just so you also know, what I did with my chicken legs and my thighs is after I cut them and clean them and stuff like that, I put a little slit in the thighs. That way the seasoning can soak. All right, so go ahead, let it, let it rip, baby. Let just go ahead. Ah! Go ahead and marry it. There you go. Ah. Flip it, flip it. Oh, there you go. There you go. nasty. The sound effects. Go ahead. Ooh. Make sure you like actually rub it in. Get the chicken nice and Ooh. there you go. Oh. Okay, sound effects. Ooh. Go and massage the meat. Pause. Oh, massage the meat. Pause. I said massage the meat. Pause. Massage the meat. Pause. I said massage the meat. Pause. Ah, ah, the meat. Ah. I said massage the meat. Ah. I said massage the meat. Ah. I said massage the meat. Ah. Hey. You see me? You see me, right? Look at it. Y'all see what I'm doing? Y'all see what I'm doing, right? Your boy in here chefing. He is in here chefing. Yeah. See? Now he can say that he's responsible for the actual meal because he's the one doing the seasoning. That's the important part. So typically when I season the meat, I'll season it the night before because I usually like for my chicken or whatever meat it is to really soak in that seasoning. But Today, we kind of just doing it on a whim. If you're cooking it right on the spot, I would good. say give it like maybe 30 minutes to kind of sit and soak in, kind of let everything this marry together, good. and then you could throw it in the pot, right? Mm -hmm. Like I said too, brown stew chicken, some people take the chicken out and fry it and brown it first, and then they pour all their seasoning in and make gravy. But like I said, I'm gonna do a one pot joint for him, so that way it's just like, bam, one, two, three. You good? Look how great that it looks. Looks good, right? It looks good, right? You gotta come in close. It looks good. You can yeah. Come here, come here and see this. Come here, come here, come here, come here, see this. Come here, see this, see that? You see how it's nice, nice and brown, nice and brown. 
Ooh. Smells really good. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I think we good now. We I think good we're now? good. I got right. the pot on. So I'm going to go wash my hands, okay? All right, go wash your I'm hands. Good now? Okay. While you wash your hands, if you're going to be cooking brown stew chicken or any kind of dish like that, you have to have in your house, if you are a true West Indian, wait till I show you. I had it over here warming up for us. A Dutch pot. Ah, very nice. Very a Dutch nice. pot. Very All right. Nice, yeah. Every household has its various sizes. This is actually my larger one. Mm -hmm. I have a smaller one that I make, you know, smaller helpings in, smaller servings, or like my rice and peas. But you know how the song go. Pass the Dutch chip on the left hand side. Pass the Dutch chip on the left hand side. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. There you go. See, he's a whole ass Jamaican, y'all. I just don't know the words, but I know the melody. The melody is the most important part. All right. So now that we have the chicken ready, I'm gonna go back in with my grapeseed oil. I'm gonna put maybe a quarter cup. That's actually a measurement I could give y'all of oil into the pot to get nice and hot and prepare for the chicken. We have the oil in here. My my uh, pot is nice and hot. Yeah, pot and is so hot. is sous chef Bay. Mm -hmm. All right, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> so the oil is hot in the pot right now for the most part, because I had mm -hmm. the pot going for a little bit. So now you have to be careful where you put this in. You never want to like dump it towards you. You have to make okay. sure the oil isn't pop back. Okay. All right, Let's but take one, one more, just so y'all can see one more time. Sure. What that yeah, looks like, look okay? Good, look good. All right, I'm gonna let you go ahead and pour it in. Be so careful. So you said don't. Uh, yeah, just be careful okay. how you put it in. You don't want it to splash up. Try to put the bowl into the pot a little bit, and then you okay. bring it down. Oh, like this. There you go. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Pour, pour, pour. There we go. Yes. Good job. Good job. All right, so I'm gonna put my oven mitt on now. Look at that. Ooh, that look good. Ooh, that look good. You see, the pot is bubbling. Bubbling, bubbling. Ooh, All right. that look good. All Ooh. right. So what we're going to do with this now, we have some juice from the seasoning in there already. Okay. The chicken, what we wanted to do right now is just, as my grandmother would say, spring its own water. So we're going to cover it and pretty much that means it's going to go on a low flame and you're going to let it produce its own juices. That's why you get the authentic mm. flavor. You're not going to water it down too much, you know? Mm. How's it look? It looks good. I'm proud of you, bro. You got to sim it has simmer. It has to simmer. Yes, it has to simmer. <laughs> sim simmer. Who got the keys to my bimba? All right. So we just mix it up in there. Make sure everything is good to go. That look good. Doesn't it look good? Yes. Good job, baby. All right. You know, I try, I try. Got you know? the cover for the Dutch pot right here. And voila. Voila. So we just let it sit. So put that down on like a medium flame and just let it just let it, let sit. it do its thing. Okay. And then we'll come back and we'll All show right. you how to make the gravy. The gravy is the most important the gravy. part. The gravy after, you know. <laughs> gonna make add a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Be good to go. Yeah. Be good to go. All right. All right. Do you want to take a look at your pot? How you, you didn't even look at your pot yet. Because I already know what's good. I could smell it. Let me it. see. Let me see. Ta -da! You see that? Yo. Mm, so you see that gravy bubbling up right now? The chicken actually made its own gravy. So all I did was add a little ketchup, a little brown sugar, a little more of the browning for some color, and some cornstarch and water to make the gravy nice and thick. All right, so we got the plating situation here. You're trying to upstage me on the plating. I see how you do. Look at your boy with the fancies, okay? You see you talking. You, you see you talking, right? All right, my bad. I just plucked my rice down Yeah, look there, at your little <laughs> scraggly rice on your plate. It's <laughs> well, about the presentation. Be scraggly, though. Because it's about the presentation. Look, look at your me, rice. I'm going to comb that joint over No, like that. watch, look, watch wow. your boy's bow, skills. Bow, bow, A little leftover rice. Yo, that's mad corny. Watch my skills. You ready? Count me down. Count All me down. Right. <laughs> It's like that with that. Too slow. You're too slow. I'm already done. Let me see. You ready? Let me see. Yo! <laughs> Where'd you learn how to do that? That was cute. 
That was cute. That was cute. You see that? That was cute. You yeah, see that? Now look at your rice. Look at my rice. It's, it's all it's about it came the from the same place. Don't the worry about the details of what we do make us better than everybody else. <laughs> Don't worry about the presentation either with my Tupperware. This was leftover rice and peas that I had made like two days ago. So that's it a mom move. Sense. That's you what you do. I mean? it's a you gotta move. recycle sometimes. Yeah. There you go. All right. So you ready to plate your, your chicken? Yes. I'm, yeah. I'm so anxious to taste it because it looks good. It looks good. It looks it good. Looks good. So, let me so see. we thickened up the gravy a little bit with some cornstarch and water. Added some ketchup to the My mix. Bad, I'm blocking. Yeah, some yeah, ketchup. Yeah. Little brown sugar, you know what I mean? Mm. Some people, when they make the brown, brown some chicken, they'll brown the sugar in the pot in the oil. That's a different way of making it too. So there's several different ways. But this is just a one pot joint for my baby. So here you go, do the honors. I'll bring the plate over for you. I'll bring the plate over. Let's see, let me bring yours over first because your joint looks so cute. So where, where do you want to put your, should I slide your salad over? So you can put slide the- Slide my salad, right. slide my salad. Because I don't like his food to touch. So, no, I don't. You know? I'm a little OCD. He's a little OCD. So I gotta so make sure that think. everything has its own little area. Okay. I always gotta start with a leg. I gotta start leg. with the leg okay. first, right? But you know I gotta finish with the thigh. <laughs> mm, the thigh. This th Let me tell you, you this that? chicken literally made Ooh. its own gravy. I did not have to add any water to it. And watch this. This was just oh, this oh. How you gotta sprinkle. You going it with the extra you gotta gravy sprinkle now? The gravy. So you gotta sprinkle okay, the I'm gravy. right. You ready? ready? Ready. Don't drip. Oh! Oh, walk away. <laughs> he walked away. You see that? He you walked see that? Away. You see how I sprinkled the gravy? That was a you mic see, drop. You see how I mic drop. You see how I sprinkled the gravy? <laughs> Smells good. Mm, okay. Let's All right, let's, let me uh, get some chicken on my plate. Shop, you gonna plate it for me? Yeah, let me get your plate, man. Even with my scraggly it's rice? Little, we got a little scraggly <laughs> rice. You ain't even about the detail. What you want, a leg or a thigh? Um, let hmm. me do a thigh. You do a no, thigh? no, no, leg, a leg, a leg. Make up your mind. That leg is still right there. Mm, nice and juicy. Put that leg right there. Your gravy that? is like the perfect consistency. Oh, well, let me get you a little cornstarch. Sometimes people use a little flour in water. Let me get that I like the cornstarch because then the gravy doesn't lose its color. You know what I mean? Count me down. I'm going to count you down. Ready? Three. Too long. You take it too long, all right? You take it too slow, all right? Yeah, I appreciate look at you. Look at that. Thank you so much. Ooh, Thank you. Wee! Man, this deserves a drink. Y'all know my favorite yes. Appleton Estate. Right? Yes. Come on, Appleton. Y'all gotta come through for us, sister. Mm. I, I need a, a refill soon. Got you. Got you there. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. There you go. <laughs> don't, there you don't, go. don't make me get a little heavy handed there now. You, you can just drop that there one oh, time for oh. me. There you go. You know. It's gonna be a fun night. Oh, well, yes, it is. It's gonna be a fun night. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're gonna have a drink. Oh, okay now. Yes. We lit it. Let me use your Welcome towel. Welcome to Chateau de Elise. <laughs> yes. Yo, let me tell y'all, mm -hmm. Deval and I were on vacation years ago, right? Oh, gosh. And oh, where, where were, we? were we in Mexico or were we in <laughs> we were in Jamaica. Jamaica? It was Jamaica. We were, Jamaica. we were in Jamaica at a resort. And they brought the menu over. And Deval was like, yeah, uh, for dessert, I'll have the fruit plate. I said that. I was like, fruit plate. I look at the menu. It says fruit plate. Fruit Listen, plate. I was no be, accent I was, on the E. I was no being accent refined. on the ate. He said. <laughs> I was being refined. I was like fruit plate, babe. But in my defense, mm -hmm. we were in a French restaurant on the resort. There we was. had secrets, and they had the French restaurant. Yes, so, so everything on there was French until the end. The fruit plate was last. <laughs> so I just assumed it was plate. <laughs> so I said I'll take the fruit plate. The fruit plate. All See, right. Well, the, no the problem fruit is you're not today. refined like me. Okay? My bad. You're my not bad. Refined All like right, me. Chateau. So uh, let's say a quick grace. And then, um, I think we should, okay. Grace, um, <laughs> you want me to cut it so you God can God bless these hands and the hands that prepare it and the food that will be nourishing to our body, amen. 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 Now, go ahead, you want to feed me? I'm gonna feed you, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna just go well, let me, dive Let me in. feed you, baby, let me feed you. Let My me feed leg. you, come on. All right, well, watch your, watch your right. rag. Let me feed you. Let me see how it is, guys. The moment of truth. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Not bad. That's what you call a stewed chicken pate. Not bad. Bay, bay. At all. What'd you say? Oh, KKK. <laughs> Don't be trying to use my show name. Yes. That's actually not bad. 
Did that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. No, that's it. No, that's it. Good job, baby. That's it. Oh, that good chicken job. slap. So when you chicken slap. That chicken slap. So when you're away, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real good. I'll just mix this with my knife. Um, Go ahead, so baby. So when you're away, Chateau de Elise. You can fend for yourself out there, you know. Cook yeah. for your castmates. Oh, I like good stuff. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> it caught me. The ginger. Got <clears throat> Mm, some, some right. I love you. Mm. Mm. Thanks for dinner. You're welcome. Man. That's how you low key get Bay to make you dinner. He didn't even know it. And now I'm about to get some dessert. <laughs> <sighs> we out. Chateau de Elise. Let me know what else you want to see on OKKK. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do more cooking later. Bye.